My name is Daria and today we're gonna talk about MTs, um, all the products that are used in 2022. Actually, it's not all the products uh, since we have been in renovation, uh, but for the last at least half a year, I guess. So I have the whole bag over here and I wanted to start with this Dior um, Lip Glow that is in color 001, which is light pink color, almost transparent, that is pretty um, moisturizing and makes your lips look like yours, but better. So lips but better, that's, yeah, that's the color. Uh, I have a little bit left, uh, so I'll finish it. It's not as good for winter though. So right now in winter, I can't really use it anywhere other than at home. Uh, which is fine for me because I work from home, but if I go outside when it's cold, then it becomes like a white line over here. So it's awesome and perfect for summer, and I'm definitely gonna purchase one more. Uh, but yeah, like it's just something to know that in winter it doesn't really work as well as good. I'm sorry. The next good thing that I really like, and it's not the first and not the last bottle, is uh, La Roche Posay. Uh, Effaclor gel. Um, I usually purchase this for 100 milliliters just because I really use it like day to day, day to day. And yeah, it just works awesome with me. Um, doesn't irritate my skin, cleans really well. And you will see that this year I tried other products, I try to find something else. I do the time to time when I think, oh, there's, there must be something better. Uh, but yeah, like this is the product I still come back to uh, very, very often. And then another cleanser that I used this year was this Shiseido uh, Deep Cleansing Foam for oily to blemish uh, prone skin. And um, I, I can't even say that it's bad. It's really good. Um, it cleans really well, but it... It doesn't really work on its own as separate products. So I have to use a toner. I have to use a moisturizer after that. If I use this cleanser, then it's totally fine for me not to use anything after that. My skin is not tight, it's not dry, it's not, it's not anything. With this product, it's kind of like way too clean, way too sparkling. So, I used it once in a while, so I bought it and then I realized like it's not really good for day to day. So I used it in combination with La Roche Posay. So this one is actually kind of like deeper and better cleaning, but not for everyday use, that's for sure. Uh, at least for me, for my skin, I have oily skin, I have acne prone skin and um, yeah, it just that that's how it worked for me. Another product that I purchased for, I don't know, that would be like the fifth bottle. And if I see that, you can see that I purchased that with winners. So if I see that, I'll buy that again too. Because this one is a little, a little bit uh, are than for normal skin, the refining toner lotion. It has alcohol in it. However, um, I didn't feel like it would make my skin... I don't know, it's just like really nice refreshing toner and um, my skin felt really really well after that. On one hand it does literally nothing, like it doesn't, it doesn't really moisturize but it kind of balances your skin so it's not like acids or anything, it's just like really nice refreshing toner. I used it mostly in summer when I wanted to refresh the look during the day so if I felt like I'm sweating or something, it's too hot and you wanna feel a little breeze, that's that's the product for me. Another cleanser. I told you that I tried different products this uh, year and this one is Shiseido Foam uh, Complete Cleansing Microfoam. So actually this one was kind of it is for all skin types, but it's, I don't really believe in the fact that something can be really good for all skin types. So this one, 
didn't really work for my oily skin so it's fine it's not as harsh as this foam so like this is a little bit more like gel like and it was deep cleaning but uh too much cleaning this is softer for skin but then yeah i kind of felt like it doesn't really clean my skin as good as any other cleanser so eventually i just so at the very end i just put that in the shower to wash my face if i'm already in the shower which i rarely do um i, I prefer like to um, clean my face and remove the makeup and everything before I go to shower but if I like had no makeup then I'll use this in the shower um, I don't know I wouldn't purchase this one for sure I might think of purchasing this one uh, just to have something you know deeper cleaning but um, yeah this foam didn't really work well Another cleanser that I tried this year was this the Sam Urban Echo uh, Harakiki foam cleanser. So as you can see, I cut it. So you might think that's a great product. Um, unfortunately, I I wouldn't say so. It was pretty simple to this one, kind of like um, it felt like a bar of soap in gel format. So yeah it, it was a weird feeling it would clean really well but my skin would feel a little kind of tight and yeah kind of stiff I, I i don't know how to explain it and yeah so eventually i just used it for makeup brushes um that was really hard to wash out of brushes too but at least it cleaned them pretty well uh, but I won't purchase this product uh, anymore for sure. Another thing that I tried, uh, and I guess that's the second uh, time I purchased it, the Cosrx Original Clear Pad with um, salicylic uh, acid, I guess, uh, salix, alba, baric water, and BHA. So I really liked those. Um, they were kind of flat on one side and then a little bit rough on other side and my actually my skin my little pimples that are under the skin so like those clogged pores under the skin I really saw the result with this product like this product and then I'll show you another one so another one that I used at the same time I would kind of like mix them in between the glow tonic uh, which is 5% glycolic acid uh, so yeah like these products are something that you might really really consider if you have any uh, under skin like uneven surface uh, any blackheads and pimples so this really really works well um, I'm not sure which of these products worked better because I I kind of never well I used this on its own and it was fine but I feel like the combination of this is just awesome and uh, yeah my skin became so much nicer with these okay let's talk about moisturizing so I have this Laneige uh, water sleeping mask and I must admit that even with my oily skin especially with my oily skin I feel like this is one of those products that is uh, perfect for oily skin in summer so it doesn't leave any kind of like layer or mask or residue it doesn't feel heavy so in winter I prefer a little more creamy and moisturizing like heavier creams but in summer I don't want to do that and this is the perfect product I had um, another set of little ones uh, for traveling so this is my to go product like literally my to go um, I would I would use it if I don't know what to do with my skin if something is going wrong if like if something irritates my skin this is the thing that will kind of calm down everything it will moisturize I know that my skin re doesn't react any in any bad way so yeah like this is awesome product 
And then another one that is more for winter that I used a lot, especially when I was sick and I would use a lot of Kleenex and like sneezing and my skin over here would be extremely, extremely, extremely dry. So this Alamis uh, Pro Collagen uh, Oxygenating Night Cream. Well, I didn't use it only as a night cream and it just, it costs a ton like literally 150 or so but it's just the best cream that i have ever tried for winter um i have others right now they're as good but as a pure moisturizer this one is awesome it saved my skin so many times when i dehydrated when i just forget about any creams or yeah just like every single time i used it my skin was silky um again this is an option for me for summer time more and this would be um a time for like winter products so yeah this moisturizer it is expensive honestly uh i would love to purchase it again but it is expensive i got it in some beauty box and um yeah, I feel like uh, I should come back to it, but I'm kind of cheap in this. And then here, as I told you, I just, um, I just purchased the whole travel pack and I take these uh, with me when I'm traveling. So yeah, um, I don't really use any separate container, so I prefer not to put anything outside of its uh, original container. So I'm just purchasing them separately. Uh, SPF, um, amazing summer thing, but this Dermalogica, I had an allergy for that. And considering the price of this SPF, um, I'm kind of very, very disappointed, but uh, really, uh, there are so many cheaper SPFs that are fine for my skin, and this one literally, I was irritated and kind of itchy all over the face uh, when I used this and not even it's not only about the face it's more about eyes because every single time i put it kind of like underneath my eyes obviously not going too far but then when i'm sweating it's kind of i guess melts into my eye area and then my eyes would burn so every single time i have this thing with a lot of creams to be honest so it's not like it's not like only this product cost uh, my irritate, like burning in my eyes, but yeah, it cost a lot of um, me crying somewhere in the middle of street because I can't really do anything and I have to find the closest washroom to wash my face and just to get rid of this product from my face. Um, no, not so good. And then rice water, bright, the rice cleansing oil. This is the face shop. And actually, I had this one and another one, and I really, really like this one. So comparing to you, let's say there was the uh, Eau Claire, for example, that is much more expensive, but this really works much better. Um, it doesn't leave any residue. It, it, it awesome with removing any makeup and yeah, like I herb. Uh, that's the place where I buy this and um, yeah, every single time I just purchase the same thing I, I try different ones, but then I come back to this product every single time um, I'll make a separate video for that. I guess for hair products. I'll just finish with like whatever I had for face and body uh, but um, Yeah, I just feel like that's a little too much for one video uh, for another Batch of hair products. I use that a lot. Uh, as you can see, my hair is in pretty bad shape right now, uh, but I'll explain that in my next video. Uh, so I'll finish with a couple products for um, skin and body. Uh, Laneige sleeping mask, awesome for winter, awesome for any other time, awesome. I, I just love it. Uh, I purchase only these small ones because I don't feel like I'm gonna use the whole batch in um in the time that uh, I stayed at over here uh, but yeah because I have a lot of other lip glosses and everything and like lipsticks mm, but yeah I really use that a lot I have another extra one from another travel um set that I purchased and yeah it was 
awesome. Uh, Himalayan scrub, uh, lychee oil complex and sweet almond oil. Um, I, I guess I purchased it on Amazon or iHerb or something like this. However, um, as you can see, I didn't even finish it because it was really, really harsh on my skin and eventually it just started smelling really bad because um, I guess the time kind of expired, but I didn't finish it by that time because it was harsh. So um, I would not recommend this product and yeah, I don't know, something, something really bad. Um, Bath salt, bath soak with vitamin E and sea salt. I really like the aromatherapy um, line in Bath and Body Works, and I think that those smells are the best in their products. Uh, they are not for everyone, but I really like this um, eucalyptus and spearmint. I had body wash, I had foam, I had the sea salt, I had cream, and it just, I love all the products with the smell, and I would really recommend this, the skin is so soft after that, just, you relax, all this smell, oh, it just makes you so much relax after the bathtub with this product, um, so yeah, if you, I don't know, this is my to-go gift to you for those I know who like taking care of their body and I just yeah I just really like gifting something like this to my friends and family because uh, I don't know um, it just it's never too much of uh, something for best and body and then I'll show you the mascara that I uh, used this year. I guess I should make, it just empties. I guess I should make another video for makeup, but um, yeah, this Clinique, um, the reason I have this small thing, just because I purchased the big one. Uh, so I had this Clinique High Impact Mascara uh, in black color, and I really, really liked it. Um, it doesn't cause allergies as uh, most of other mascaras for me. And yeah, I kind of felt like, oh, it's a good option, so I purchased the big one. And I'm really, really glad because, as I mentioned, a lot of products can kind of irritate my eyes um, and I just try to avoid it, of course. And then the last product I'll show you, this little small uh, sample that I had of um, cleansing foam, uh, Clavo. Uh, I didn't even finish it. It was, it was bad. It was, it was not good. My skin didn't like it. Uh, my oily skin would get really, really oily very quickly. And even though that's a Korean product and most Korean products are, to be known, really good and well. And I don't know, I just doesn't work for me. But yeah, uh, so that's it for today. I hope that helps to someone to purchase or not purchase some products. And if you have any questions, I'll leave them in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.